The Carrera oil cooler mounting kit and flexible oil lines are shown here. Not shown in this picture is the horn bracket, the fender strut, or the large spongy seal that mates the cooler to the inside fender. If you're purchasing a used oil cooler, make sure that you obtain it from a reliable source that will guarantee its condition. As these coolers age and get beaten around, they sometimes have a tendency to leak. Make sure that any cooler you purchase has been completely inspected and pressure tested for leaks. The relocation of the horns is the trickiest part of the project. A new hole must be drilled in a very tight space for the fender strut to be mounted to the inside of the car. This hole can be drilled in the sheet metal support that is welded to the inside of the fender well. It is possible to reach behind this area to place a nut on the mounting bolt. The Carrera oil cooler is shown installed here in the front fender well. The lower bracket must be welded to the inner fender well in order to firmly mount the cooler. Note how the large seal that surrounds the cooler mates with the inside walls of the fender. The rock guard for the cooler is clipped onto the side of the cooler and prevents rocks and debris from hitting the fin portion of the cooler. Installation of the oil lines from the rear of the car is not too difficult to process if you have all the correct parts. Shown here are the lines in the thermostat, which is located in the right fender well, in the rear, just in front of the rear wheel. The two lines that bend downward go to the rocker panel and run to the front mounted oil cooler. The two lines that exit out of the thermostat go to the engine and the oil tank. The wiring of the cooler fan should be routed through a relay that can easily be placed in one of the free spots in the 911 relay fuse box. Shown on the right is a standard black relay and socket that can be used to power the fan. The fuse box on the left offers a handy placement for the relay right next to the other ones that control the major systems of the car. A brand new product, this oil cooler scoop, replaces the side marker light on the right side of the car. Molded and formed out of fiberglass, the matte surface matches the rubber of the 74-89 911s perfectly and looks very much like a standard factory accessory. The scoop channels air from the front of the car into the fender well where the front mounted cooler is located. This area is sealed off most of the time and actually receives very little fresh air. On late model Carreras, Porsche notched the bumper to allow more airflow into the region where the fender mounted oil cooler is located. This particular car is an SC and the bumper has been removed and notched at a local machine shop. Notching the bumper and adding the oil cooler scoop are probably the two best methods for increasing airflow to your oil cooler. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.